What's up guys? Recently I picked up the brand new Batmobile that's based on the new The Batman Movie and I was incredibly impressed with this set and similar to how I did with the recently released Tumblr a few months back, I went ahead and grabbed two copies of the set so I could put them together and make something even greater. So after a little bit of work, we went ahead and made Batman's new Batwing. So the new Batmobile has been getting some mixed emotions from people. I for one think it's very cool and I know it just looks like a muscle car so it's not anything special to some other people. But I really liked the muscle car look and nature of the original set and the vehicle in universe. So I wanted to try and retain some of that in this build so it still looks like it's part of muscle car culture and still kind of emulates a muscle car if it were flying. So now we'll go ahead and go over the features of this brand new Batwing. So the wheels used to be up front. I went ahead and just filled that out with some extra piping and just a little bit of detail to help fill up that empty space. Add a little bit of greebling in there. And this set is symmetrical right down the middle so I don't really need to show you both sides but of course I'll rotate around. But the biggest portion of all these mods is actually in the rear here, and this is where I had to really beef it up to make it into a flying vehicle. So on both sides, we now have the wheels up in the air, canted at an angle, and these in my head are some kind of thrusters that generate some kind of lift so that this vehicle can have some VTOL capability. So for this build, I actually did do a little bit of research on many of the Batwings that have been around throughout the years, and almost all of them have some form of VTOL capability, so I wanted to use these wheels as some kind of thrusters that generate lift to give it that capability. And overall, I think it looks really cool, and you can definitely use your imagination to imagine that these are going to be spinning when it's in the air. So it's attached to one of these little T-Technic bar pieces that are used in a lot of little piping details. And then we did use some of those piping pieces that are part of the original engine block from the set to help hinge on some of these extra thrusters and just add a little bit of detail. But you can see down here, I went ahead and tore apart both of Penguin's rocket launchers and I actually used these as some small thrusters with the blue stud in there. And as well, these two stud shooters double as landing gear. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but this set rests on these two stud shooters and then these inverted tiles up here. And never once have I actually had those stud shooters shoot out when I set the set down. So once I found that out, I went ahead and wanted to use those as some kind of rear landing gear. But then just behind that, the original brake light pieces that are on the back are now being doubled as thrusters on the back and the bottom. So now it's hiding with the rest of the thrusters in this small little bay here to help generate more lift and get it off the ground a little easier and quicker. But just above the brake light piece here, we have that third thruster that's on this back side here, and it is actually movable, so you do have a little bit of posability, because I do like to think that these three thrusters down here are mainly used for extra maneuverability and getting it off the ground. So these aren't really meant to be pointed perfectly backwards to send it forward because you have the two high powered engines in the rear that do that. And since we're talking about those, let's go ahead and get on that subject. You can see I kept the original engine from the set. I really liked it. Nothing needed to be changed there. The only thing that changed with that original engine is if I can get some light in there, just underneath these pipes, I went ahead and added more of the sticker pieces that came with this set just for a little bit of extra detail. But other than that, this top engine block remains unchanged, minus putting one extra gauge on there. So with the two gauges, the one on the left monitors the primary engine that was already there, and the one on the right is monitoring the bottom engine that's added on. And you can see, it's a pretty similar build to what's up top, I just used some clip bar pieces to help add in some extra little detail pipes here. They do fold in, so you can't have them folded in if you wanted to, but I really like to have them folded out as some kind of exhaust. And after I put it on, it is actually very easily removable, so you could just go with the single thruster look, and then you actually could have this fly in, because these do look like little mini engines themselves. And in my head, it totally fits Batman, that if he was in a chase, and he was getting a little behind, or needed to get somewhere quickly, he would call in some extra thrusters to attach to his vehicle and send him along further. I really like the greebling of the primary engine block, so I wanted to continue it as much as I could on this secondary engine right here. And I think I succeeded pretty well. I did have to use a lot of those detail pieces for the extra thrusters and filling out greebling up front as well. But then on the bottom here, I just have some extra slope pieces to help smooth it out on that bottom half so it looks a little cleaner. And inside the wheel well, around all the little details, I do have some extra sloping and curving bricks in there to help fill it out and make it look a little less empty as well as these extra fins going in. But this rear section is pretty much where all the mods went. Like I said earlier, I am using just two copies of this set. I'm really proud of how all these engines and thrusters turned out. It all looks very good and I still think it fits within the theme of the muscle car that the original Batmobile was. And the most important thing to me was when this vehicle was landed or even in its flying mode is that it sits at a decline like actual muscle cars do in the real world and this Batmobile does in the Lego set. So when it is landed on those stud shooters, the rear side is actually elevated more than the front side. And I know that's a small detail to some, but I still wanted this to fit and blend into the Batman universe, so I wanted to make it as muscle car-like as possible. 
on the front here with these front exhausts, I'm not actually sure if I'm using the right words, I'm not much of a car guy, but on the front exhaust, I just added one gray flower petal piece to help extend them out and make them a little bit longer. And I did remove the spring-loaded shooter capability, though I did leave the bricks in there. I don't think they look too bad, but I did like these pieces right here, and I did want it to sit at a small bit of an incline. So I sat some pieces beneath it to help keep them up so they didn't keep sagging down when no missiles were inside. But other than that, up front, nothing has really changed, minus the greebling that we did in the empty wheel well. So the last bit of mods that I did was to the cockpit, and I just wanted to stud in this roof piece by one stud. It's just attached on the rear here to the rear windshield. On the original set, it's only connected by these two studs up front, so when you press those down, this roof piece would sit at a bit of an incline, not quite as much as now because there's a stud beneath it, but it would sit at a bit of an incline and there would be a separation between the bricks, and I didn't really like that. So I just added one small stud sticking out from the rear windshield, and now it studs in and it's perfectly flat with no gap. But inside the interior, I filled out this rear area with just a little bit of greebling, a nice red tile there to help brighten it up, add a little bit of mean looking lights. I changed up both seats so the minifigures can sit at a more proper angle and they can look out the windshields. If you guys know me, that's a mod I do with almost every single set. But everything else in here is all just the standard sticker detailing from the original set. I do just think I flipped around this gray piece so it's facing this direction now. But other than that guys, that's pretty much all the mods that we did to this brand new Batwing. A small bit of a funny story, I was actually getting two copies of this set because I wanted to mod it into a luxury airspeeder for the Star Wars universe. But as I modded it more, and as I tried to blend it more with the Star Wars universe, I realized I was taking away too much from the Batmobile aesthetic. So I went ahead and kept it in the DC universe, and I just tried to make it what I think it would look like if they took the technology really far in the new Batman film and gave Batman a Batwing. I think it turned out great, and I think it all really came together and looks really proper. But I hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you guys did, let me know down in the comments. I was incredibly happy with this build when I was finally complete with it. And I know I say this with plenty of my mods, but this one I truly believe is one of my best. I think everything still blends together and it looks really proper. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, do what I said previously. Let me know down below. Drop a like and subscribe for more of these alternate builds and custom vehicles that I make out of official sets. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, fellas.